the book of Jude, Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ, the brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ, mercy to you and peace and love. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write to you of your common salvation, it was needful for me to write to you and to exhort you that you should earnestly contend for your faith which was delivered to you and to all of the saints. For there are certain men who have crept in, who were before of old ordained, to the condemnation of ungodly men. They're turning the grace of our God into lavishness and denying the only Lord God and the Lord Jesus Christ. I will therefore put you in a remembrance, though you once knew this, how the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that did not believe. And the angels, which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he reserves in everlasting chains under darkness for the judgment of the great day. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication, going after strange flesh, and after forth an example of suffering, the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, the filthy dreamers, the ones that defile their flesh, they despise dominion and they speak evil of dignity. Michael, who was an archangel, he contended with the devil and disputed over the body of Moses. But he did not bring any accusations, but said only, I rebuke you in the Lord Jesus. But these speak evil of those which they do not. But what they know naturally is the brute beast. In those things they corrupt themselves. Woe to these people, for they have gone the way of Cain. They are greedy, and they have ran in error for a reward. They are perishing, and gainsaying of the core. What are the spots in your feast of charity when they feast? with you, feeding themselves without fear, clouds that have no water. They've carried, they carried the wind, but there is no wind. Trees that have no fruit, that wither without the fruit. They're twice dead. They're plucked up by the root. Raging waves of sea, foaming as they have no shame. The wandering star to whom it's reserved the blackness and the darkness forever and ever. And Enoch, also, in the seventh of Ad, from Adam, he prophesied of these things, and said, Behold, the Lord will come with ten thousand of his saints, to execute judgment on all, and to convince all that the ungodly among them are doing ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed. And all of these things are of hard speech, and the ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These people that are murmurs and complainers, walking with their own lusts, and their mouth speaks after swelling words to make admiration for men. But, beloved, remember the words which were spoken before you as the Apostle Lord Jesus Christ, how that they told you there would be mockers in the last days. You should walk with your own and do not walk in ungodly lust. These they who separate themselves, having not the Spirit inside them. But, beloved, build yourself up in your most holy faith, praying to the Holy Ghost. Keep yourself in love of God. Look for the mercy that the Lord Jesus Christ brings through eternal life. And some, having compassion, will make a difference. And others, save people by pulling them out of the fire, hating the garment and the spotting of the flesh. Now unto them that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of the glory of the exceeding joy, to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty and dominion and power, both now and forever and ever. Amen.